Welcome back to Oracle of Ages Cursed, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie, and we are in the Skull Dungeon now. And I just want to give you a heads up, the Skull Dungeon is probably my favorite Zelda dungeon ever. It's really well designed, it has great puzzles, enemies that are tough but not too tough. The layout's great, it's green, and the music's amazing, and it's got the greatest Zelda dungeon item ever. But that's just me. So you can see there's a lot of lava in here, even though the lava volcano went dormant like 400 years ago. Yeah, this this dungeon was great. It's really straightforward. It's basically just a straight line to the exit with a ton of puzzles in the way. So we get the compass first, which is kind of interesting. And dice puzzles are back. So as you can see, we need to make it blue in there. So, we'll need to do a little switcheroo. There we go. And we get a small key for our efforts. Yeah, this dungeon is just awesome. It's pretty much just a straight line to the exit. It's really cool. And the dungeon map looks awesome. I love the Skull Dungeon oh so much, oh yes I do. Skull Dungeon, it's so much fun, and its dungeon puzzles are fairly hard, and it's just a really fun dungeon to explore, even though there's fire keys. Fire keys are not fun to face. Fire keys are really annoying because they're high up in the air, and like, they can hurt you very easily, but it's very hard for you to hurt them. Alright. Minecart time, sweet. Alright, so first we go down here. Ooh, seed shooter time. Ow. Not what I wanted. There we go. Small key, sweet. Can I get a heart in here? Nope, just bombs. Oh, you're probably supposed to use bombs to take out the mini Moldorm. Back off. All right. I always forget to get that chest. Whee! I love doing that in the minecart. It looks so awesome. All right, so you flip the switch and go down here first, because this gives you. Oh, hang on. Rocks forever first. This gives you the dungeon map. And it's the Skull Dungeon, and the map is shaped like a giant skull. Pretty awesome. At least I think so. Now, I could kind of use some HP, like, really badly, so... If one of these enemies could drop a heart, that would be just... grand. Woot! Hi, dude! Rats. You do tend to take a lot of damage in this dungeon because of how... all the lava and all the enemies. Stop trying to shoot me with arrows. Really? No hearts? Come on. Nothing in there. Oh, man. Okay. I wonder if scent seeds work on keys. They sure do. Alright. So, for this room, you gotta pull this giant lever. 
And that'll harden the lava. Now we've got to hurry across before the lava comes back. These are yellow Stalfoses. They shoot stuff at you. And they jump a lot. They're not fun. Especially on a cursed playthrough. Man, everyone's being stingy with the hearts. No! Rats. Well, luckily it's still pretty much a straight shot through the dungeon. Yeah, fire keys, like, you've got to... Even you jump into Rock's Fever, it doesn't hit them. But yet they can just swoop down and hit you at any time and deal a lot of damage in the process. Yeah, yellow Stalfoses are nasty. Wee. Woo! I love how rapidly you can swing your sword in this. Alright, I've got a new plan. Scent Seeds. Which apparently don't work on these guys. Terrific! Ooh, I've got a new new plan. Bombs! I've got 30 of them, so might as well. Oh. That heart is mine. If you rapidly swing at them when you're, like, you've got them cornered, then that also works very well. Especially since even if they throw stuff at you, your sword destroys it! Whee! Oh boy, okay. These guys are back, but luckily we've got a new special weapon against them. Shooting Gale Seeds will insta-kill enemies, for the most part. They respawn as soon as you come back, but it's very helpful against those beetles. And that does not work on them for Patch's crazy carts, just so you know. There we go. A lot of simple puzzles. Ow. Oh, that was a mistake. This dice block puzzle is actually kind of tricky, even though it's a kind of a straight shot to the hole there. You've got to push it really quickly. Because of the ground being able to break. Alright! A lot of minecarts in this dungeon, which is pretty cool. Oh, whoops. This room's kind of neat. Minecarts only. Oh, hi, little snakes! Ah, oh, you guys are so cute! I love your big dopey smiles. There we go. I love seed shooter puzzles. For the most part. There are a couple in the bonus dungeon that are really nasty, but... Other than that, it's pretty- they're pretty awesome. Yeah, take that. There we go. 
Ah, oh, I just love how simple this dungeon is. And yet it's so awesome! Okay, get out your Gale Seeds. Because we gotta kill all these guys. There we go. One-shot kills are the best way to go. Oh, this area is, has some nasty platforming, though. Trust me when I say that is harder than it looks. Stupid pea hat. Key, please. This dungeon also has a lot of keys. See, though? Like, there's no backtracking in this dungeon, like, at all. At least no more than, like, one room. It's so nice. And they just jam-pack so much into, like, a tiny little area. Because you'll see, we've explored a huge portion of the dungeon. We're going back to a lot of these rooms, though. But, like, we don't have to backtrack there. It'll take us, like, special new, like, room pathways. Alright, this is a Gibdo. They don't get knocked back by your sword and they deal a lot of damage and have a lot of HP, so... Not necessarily a good combination. But you can take him out the Seed Shooter long distance if you want to. Alright. Before we proceed to the left, we want to go up here. I think- actually, no, we don't. That's my bad. Also forgot to mention, but the boss and mini-boss of this dungeon are pretty good, cool as well. Because it's mini-boss time, Woody! My mighty sword and mighty shield shall crush you! So this is like the Armos King or something like that? Basically, our sword deals no damage against him. His sword, on the other hand, does. Mini boss, mini boss, mini boss, mini boss, mini boss, mini boss. This is totally a mini boss. No! My mighty sword is broken! You'll pay for this! Alright, let's break out the bombs, shall we? There we go! And that's how it's done! Uh, I love this dungeon! Take this mini Moldorm. Uh -huh. So yeah, you see we're revisiting the old rooms now in like the rafters. It's pretty cool. And in this next room we get introduced to a brand new kind of puzzle. The goal, touch every tile exactly once without touching them out of order, so like you can't jump. So here, I'll kind of show you. Ah, darn it, messed up. These puzzles are pretty tricky. Darn it! <laughs> I don't remember the solutions to a lot of these puzzles, so bear with me. No! go at last and for this we get the switch hook shoot at an object to switch places with it it's like the hook shot but only a lot cooler this is my favorite Zelda dungeon item <laughs> I love it so much 
I can't really explain why I love it. It's just so much fun to use. It does have a limited range, but... Oh, it's, it is so much fun to use. And the puzzles that are done with it are pretty well, are pretty cool. I'll just avoid you, Gibdo. Hey, shredded Stalfos of a sword, come on. Doo -doo. It's got a nice learning curve for the puzzles. It's just magnificent. I understand why they haven't brought it back, but bring it back to some of the 2D Zeldas. It would be too hard to implement in a 3D Zelda, but 2D Zelda? That's very nice. And now we finally go to the basement. There's a basement. And you can swap places with enemies as well. There are also a couple of enemies where you don't swap places with it, but rather it just damages them. And I screwed up the puzzle already. You see all the, like, the really cool puzzles you can do with this? It's just, like, the really cool item. And again, like, no backtracking in the dungeon, which is amazing. Oh, this is great. Oh, it's another one of these puzzles, if you can call it a puzzle. Ow! You can't do that. Ow. You can't actually hurt them unless you can see where they are, which is kind of weird. He had to make me nervous. And it's another one of these puzzles, now with complete with mini moldorms. There's a okay, the bonus dungeon in the game has a puzzle like this that is just downright evil. It is probably the most evil Zelda puzzle ever. Definitely up there. So even though this one's bigger, I'd say this one's easier than the first, uh, of these puzzles. Will you just die already? Come on! Yeah, you'll notice if I step on here, like, it doesn't change the color, because you need to step on it from the yellow. Woo! Now, can I get full HP again? Kind of weird that they gave me ember seeds, but all right. No! <laughs> I must have literally been as close to the edge as you possibly can get. Oh, and this is where Gale Seed Seed Shooter really shines. Yes. Yay. Oh, I forgot about this part. Take that. You're not killing me today. And we still haven't seen the best puzzle of the, dun the dungeon.
I believe the best puzzle of the dungeon's up here. Hey! Oh shoot, that's the dead end. Should've known. Alright, it's another lava hardening section. And it looks like we're going to have a longer than average episode again as well. That's a close one. Oh, wait. Thank you, Switch Hook. You're amazing. Alright, this is the best puzzle in the dungeon, for sure. I don't even remember how to do it, which is great. Alright. So I think we want to move that jar there, I want to say. Yeah, you move that block. Switch there. Um, no, I think I screwed this up. Yeah. Oh well. You're probably gonna screw up this puzzle a couple times, but it's just a very good puzzle. Alright, oh, oh, okay, yeah. So you push that pot there. Switch with that. Push this pot upwards. Swap with that pot. And we get the boss key! Alright, the boss is tough, though. It can, he can really catch you off guard. And by the way, this is the most backtracking you have to do in the dungeon. Is going back through these stairs. Okay, don't know why I didn't take damage there. But I am not complaining. Oh! No, you can't- okay, you cannot switch places with the beetles, so that's annoying. Alright! Alright. Save and continue. It's Eyesore! And, well, he is an Eyesore. You can hurt his little eyeballs with the switch hook, and, like, it's hard. <laughs> there we go. Fly off! I wonder what would happen if I threw a bomb at him. Oh, interesting. Ow. That's weird, he's not as powerful as I remember. He's still very tough, though. The one thing I don't like about this dungeon is the long trek from the mini boss room to the boss room. Oh man, this is gonna be terrible. Alright, I wanna try shooting ember seeds at him. Okay, alright, alright. Hmm. 
Alright, so you just gotta be very conservative in this fight. And don't let him reform his eyeballs. Ow! Okay, that is completely unfair. Oh, you stupid eyesore. Just die already. Darn it! This is a Vuln episode! It's a Vuln episode! Yes, it's a Vuln episode! Because I did the whole dungeon in one video! In one video! In one video! Time to die, eyesore! Eyesore, you're an eyesore! Eyesore, you're an eyesore! Beat it, little eyeballs! Ow! Time for round four! Time for round four! Maybe round five! I've lost track of the round number that it is this episode! Ross track! Stupid little eyes! I do not like you, get it? Darn it, I was doing so well! You again, I soar. You again, I soar. I soar, I soar. I, I swear I will soar you to I soar. I soar. I hate it when the switch hook lands you on top of a little eyeball. Move it. Ow. Ow! No. Stay away. Yeah! Woo! Goodbye, eyesore! Goodbye, Skull Dungeon! And we get the Burning Flame, an essence of time. It ra- it reignites wavering hearts with a hero's burning passion. See, that fight? That fight is really hard on a Cursed Poifer, but it's also, like, still fair. And it was fun. So, I, I approve. I like that fight. Get it? I'm gonna get a lot of people lashing out about how bad my eye puns are. I am remembering more and more. The ridge north of Neighbor's house must be related to the essences. Well, we'll find out in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Color40. Hope to see you for the next time. Have a great day, and God bless.